Philip and, and Crawford, what, what were y'all thinking when, when the clock hit uh, triple zero? Well, somebody came up to me like, man, it's over with. And then after that, I just looked up, and I was like, man, yeah, you're right, it's over with. So it still ain't really hit me that it's over with, but I'm starting to realize it's over with now, so it's time to move on. Yeah, I'm kind of the same boat. Uh, you know, I hadn't hit me yet, like he said. But just sitting there, just kind of enjoying it, not really thinking about you know what it means as far as our playing careers go. Just kind of enjoying the night. We got to more tomorrow, but as for now, I'm just enjoying the moment. Yeah, Crawford, you got your first career win as a starter in, in your last game uh, as, a, as a player. You wait, can you talk about what how special that is to you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I wanted to break even. You know, I had a start last week that we ended up not being able to pull out. So uh, I definitely wanted to take this one, you know, for so many reasons. Being my senior day, getting my first start at home, being the last game ever at the Rob especially. Uh, you know, it's really been a blessing just to be able to jump through all this and kind of get to send it off into the next era with a, hopefully a good jump start. Phil, so, I, I talked to you earlier this week and you said uh, you're going to try and get an interception. Uh, what did the defense see out there getting five, five turnovers? How were y'all able to do that? Well, we know uh, up front if we get pressure on the quarterback and make him make bad decisions, that we're going to get our hands on a couple of balls. And today, I think we did a great job there. If all three of you could address this, um, okay. it just how special was it to have DJ back out here for senior day to be honored? Well, this morning he had texted me and said, good luck, bro, and I was like, man, I wish he was here, and he didn't respond to it, so just seeing him coming out here this morning, I was like, I see why he didn't respond to it, coming, but just seeing him out there was, you know, I think it was like an extra spark out there, you know, to go out there and play hard and play fast. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like a relief to actually see him moving around, because last time I got to see him, he was actually in the hospital, so him coming and walking around, and yeah, it's just amazing to see how far he's come in the past you know, two weeks. We forget it happened, you know, barely over two weeks ago. And uh, just getting to see him come in there, you know, you wish like heck that he'd be out there playing with you. But, it's, you know, you just getting to see him come in there and be part of that and really just, you know, still cheering on his team and wanting nothing more than to be part of the team. I think he just speaks volumes about his character and uh, how great of a teammate he was. Not just a player, but um, we, we definitely give. And if anyone needed any extra motivation, I definitely think they definitely found it there. Crawford, talk about what you saw in the defense when you all were able to get a quick start today. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, definitely got off to a quick start. That's one of the things we definitely wanted to do this week uh, was start fast and um, just keep a lot of tempo the whole game. And the uh, first two drives especially, I thought we were able to hit some things real quick. Um, found Ronnie twice. Uh, it made me look pretty good a couple times. <laughs> Thank you for that. But, uh, um, you know, just they had a really good defense. Like I said, you know, I don't think their record showed how you know, talented they were. And I'd say the same about us. But, um, you know, I thought we had a really good fast start. And I think that really helped with what the entire game was. Ronnie, talk about that. You know, you're going downfield, and you setting everything up for Crawford to see. Yeah, it was pretty much just, you know, we didn't get that much time to work since he just got his start last week. But it was more of a timing thing, and I mean, Crawford made the right reads and the right checks, and he got the offense going, and I just made sure I just made the plays that were out there. Did you guys get a chance to watch any of the uh, – Celebration at the end of the game, and what were your final thoughts walking off uh, Robinson uh, Field for the last time? Um, yeah, we, we actually did. We got to see a little bit of fireworks. It kind of started while we were still talking to Coach Levine, but it was a mixed emotion of being, you know, sad at the same time. It's like the start of a new beginning, even though we pretty much had ended our role at Robinson Stadium. But I mean, I enjoyed it, and I mean, it's just it's been a blessing to be here playing football.
definitely special. You know, just getting to take that last knee ever here at a stadium that had seen the Heisman Trophy winner, you know, an NCAA record breaker, and uh, you know, a ton of other great talent. You know, it's definitely pretty special getting to just, you know be out there for the last play that's ever going to be out there. Um, that's definitely something that you know, I'm going to talk about later in life.